everybody, it's Dave here. Welcome to Holiday for Two. Well, I'm taking a trip down to Tucson today to go see my dad. And I think we're gonna take a ride up to Oracle, Arizona. I haven't been up there for a while. Oracle, Arizona. And also try to get out to a place called Pepper Sauce Canyon, which is close to Oracle. It's on the back road of Mount Lemon. And there's a little campground there I haven't been to in years, and neither has my dad. So we're going to go up there and see if we can check it out. If you like this video, please hit the like button, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified when I put up more videos like this. So trip to Tucson today, take my dad up to Oracle. Oracle, Arizona, a little town that's north of Tucson on the way between Tucson and San Manuel, but we're gonna stop in Oracle and see if we can take the back road to Pepper Sauce Canyon, so let's go. Should be fun. Decided to bring my dad back here. We talked about coming back here to Oracle, Arizona and take a ride up to Pepper Sauce Canyon Campground. It's probably been 40 years for my dad and at least that long for me. Uh, I actually started uh, teaching here back in 85. It was my first teaching job uh, back in 1985 at the middle school here in Oracle. Taught for a couple of years and moved to Phoenix. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. A lot different kind of community. The population of Oracle is about 3,000 people. And the whole town got started years ago as a mining community. There were people that worked at San Juan Mine and they bought property up here because it was higher altitude and it's cooler right so that makes sense and years ago around 1870 1880 there was a man named albert weldon i think that's his name albert weldon brought a bought property out here a mining claim and discovered gold and silver and named his mine the oracle mine which i found out after doing some research the oracle was named after he named it after a ship that he had came across on that survived a terrible storm so he came out here and mined, and mining is really kind of the history of Arizona. A lot of history of Arizona involves mining. And uh, as you travel out here, you start getting into the uh, Coconino National Forest. There are some road, forest roads, so you kind of watch for those. I didn't explore those for like camping, uh, boondocking kind of purposes. Pepper sauce, though, is a reasonable rate. Uh, you get back here. It's paved most of the way until you get to the dirt section. It's about a mile and a half now from the campground. The road does get a little bit narrow. I don't recommend long vehicles coming back here, although it would surprise me because my dad and I are sitting here in uh, Pepper Sauce Canyon enjoying a sandwich, and here comes a, a UPS truck. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? It just surprised us. We weren't expecting that, so... I guess there's private residents that live back here, that people live back here, and they, of course, get shipments and stuff come in all the time. It's kind of interesting. You, you did It wasn't expected. You'll see it on the video. And uh, check out my Arizona 360 channel, my Arizona Virtual 360 channel. I'll put some links here so you can go to that. I did do some 360 recording in Pepper Sauce Canyon, so if you have the virtual goggles or... Uh, iPad or iPhone, you can view it in 360. It's kind of neat. Beautiful little place. I never, I don't remember being out here. If I have, it's been a long time. And I'll show you the prices in a minute. Normal price is $15 a night, but I'll show you the uh, signpost. If you have the America Beautiful Pass, it's a little cheaper. It really surprised me, though, seeing the bicyclist on the road. As you can see, it does get narrow. Uh, I would recommend, if you came back here, the comfortable, comfortable fit would be 25 feet or less. I, I may try it in my motorhome. There's a couple of spots where I can get my motorhome in, too. But otherwise, it does get a little bit narrow right there, right? There's a cave that goes uh, back a little farther. There's a pepper sauce cave. We didn't get to that this trip, but here we go. My dad's going to share a little. So I this, guess it's, they used to call this the control road. 
to uh, Mount Lemon, and they would have certain hours of the day one way, and then certain hours of the day the other oh, way. Oh, lizard. Now we're getting close to the campground. Not too far, I don't think. But it's a nice peak in Mount Lemon. Let's find a little shady spot and get out. Park. Pepper sauce campground. This way, huh? Yep. Oh, yeah. Now, what's the rules? I don't know. If, uh, single site 15, group site 50. See spots over there. Yeah. So how do they get through there? I don't know. Maybe that way. But I don't want to go that way. <laughs> you could be scraping those. And I'm not that big of a vehicle. And those folks and people that had all the kids that were all packing guns were in that campground right there. And then there was some guy in a tent right here on this grass, you know. Uh-huh. And Tim pitched in there and they called him the man of the the man of the night or something. Like man of the woods. They said he there's water for that first water. Do you wanna try and find that other spot back there? What other spot? Well wherever that how do they get back in there? Maybe they go through there somewhere. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, that's right. Now pick him up, a Toyota truck. Crowded it is back there. Not a lot of room, huh? I don't know if I could see my motorhome coming back here. If I wasn't pulling something, I could. Oh, there's a storage shed right there. This is a lot of more spots back in there. A little bathroom. Should I just pull in somewhere? Yeah. Ah. You got sandwiches? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me pull in the shade though. Somewhere where there's shade. shade right there. I think. That's pretty shady. Yeah, but I want, I want to have a bear box. They have bears? Oh, yeah. They got bears up here. Oh, that's about as far as I want to go. Well, we have arrived. We're in a pepper sauce campground, and there's just a few people here. And, uh,. It's really quiet. It's cooler here than Tucson. Tucson today is going to be like 107. Believe it or not, here it is. End of September. We have a heat wave going on. And so, we're here it's like 91. So it's not too bad. We're just going to sit here. And we've got our chairs over there. Dad and I are going to just have a little bite to eat. But enjoy the shade. Look at these beautiful trees. It's pretty. It goes back a little farther back that way. But you have your table, bear box, fire pit, a little swing. Somebody left a swing for us. And a little place to hang your uh, lantern. If you have your America the Beautiful card, you can get this campground at half price. $7.50 a night. 
$50 for groups. I saw that on the sign. I'll show that though. But I got a little uh, restroom over here. Right over there is a little restroom. How is it, Dad? Huh? Is it clean? Yeah, not bad. Not bad? Yeah. I may go uh, t make use of it here in a second. This is not a glorified outhouse. <laughs> no running water. I think I saw water somewhere, though, where they do have uh, water spigots over there. It's, uh, oh, and garbage pickup. It looks like they had a big gar dumpster over there. What kind of trees are these? Are these sycamores? Oaks? Oh. Oak, I think. Oak? Probably a mixture, huh? Got a sandwich. Whoa. And wind? Yeah. Just get a gust of wind and get a napkin. Yeah. Pull it. There. Thank you. Two apples in there too. You want an apple? I left the macaroni salad at home though. <laughs> oh well. We'll go back and have that tonight. All American full sub. Mm. That's not too bad. Temperature wise, it's probably about 85. Yeah, a little breeze, that helps. Altitude here is just about a bit lower than Prescott. I think uh, White's Bar is like 50. Yeah, feet. yeah. I think White's Bar might be about 5,500 feet, 5,600. A little bit higher. Wonder how the devil do you get over to that one? Well, probably pull in there. Next to the bathroom. Oh, there's a road to go find. I think. No. Like you can go down that road there. Might be some more campsites. Did it say how many campsites were here? I don't even know. Wait, is that one? I was just looking at my uh, Gaia app, and it's four. It says forty-six forty-nine. Ah, forty-six fifty. It can't make up its mind how high I am. See if I don't know if that shows up on the camera or not. 46, 4,650 feet. I just brought the pickup truck. I have to clean the back of my truck out though. People saying, Dave, Dave, you got to dust out your pickup truck. <laughs> Welcome to Arizona. Everything's got like a layer of dust on it. I'll just get in there with the leaf blower and just blow everything out. Ugh. That's part of living in Arizona. Dust, dust. You got your bear box. Yep. Oh yeah. Somebody left a can in there. Yep. There's kind of a cool spot. Literally. Wow, kind of low here. This is kind of nice back here, but you can't drive back here. 
Woods are great setup for tents. Nice and shady though. Oh, I like the shade. I wouldn't want to bring a long trailer or motorhome back in here, but if you had a van, something 25 feet or less, it'd be no problem at all. Like this right here, you could, I could probably get my motorhome backed up right there, but it'd be a close, it'd be a pinch. I think it goes back a little farther there. Another little spot right here. Of all the years I've lived in Tucson and lived in Arizona, this is the first time I've been to Pepper Sauce. There is a little creek right there. And I bet you during monsoon season it starts running to get a good rainstorm. It took us about uh, less than an hour to get here. I think about 45 minutes from Tucson. Boy, when you're in the sun, you feel it. The shade sure feels good, though. There's a couple of nice little spots. That one over there. Yeah. Not very big, though. No. no more than this. Is This is actually one of the longer ones so far. Huh. And that one's kind of long right there. It's watching the overhang. Leveling up would be tricky. Oh, here comes a... Whoa, FedEx truck, huh? UPS. I didn't order anything. Did you order anything? <laughs> there must be a <laughs> Lady, you don't tip that thing over. There must be a private residence back there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Beats the whoopee out of me. All right, I'm gonna start picking up stuff. Yeah, I love it in the shade. It's warm out in the sun, but I love it in the shade. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Pepper sauce, Canyon, $15 for a single site. Now if you have your discount pass, the America the Beautiful Pass, $7.50. And, oh, there's the envelopes right there. So you get your envelope. I got, put your fee in there. Notice the sign. Bear country. Yep, that's why they got the bear boxes. The road isn't too bad. Nice shade. No cell service though. You got one side that goes off to the right, and there's a few camp spots back in there, and then most of the campsites, most of the campsites are off here to the left. Well, everybody, I hope you like that little uh, snapshot of Pepper Sauce Canyon campground. There's a cave past this about three or four miles. There's Pepper Sauce Cave. We're not going to go there but it might be kind of fun to check out if you're in the area or the zip line tour. I saw the zip line on the way in. See you guys. See you later. Have fun. Safe travels wherever you're going. Be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe and catch you on the next one. Bye everybody. Take that home.